So we're going to try this again. We had in my first live uh, video for Countdown to SHOT Show 2018, we had a massive software failure. Something happened with my connection. I don't know what happened. Uh, I got an error message on Facebook. I don't know. Maybe there's some issue with Facebook. They want to shut me down and keep me quiet. Who knows? It wouldn't surprise me. But uh, what we started to talk about was in just a few weeks, the largest trade show in the outdoor industry is going to shot. That's the shooting, or is going to start the shooting, hunting, and outdoor trade show, otherwise known as the shot show. And it is the who's who and what's what in the outdoor world. Now, you would think that having this be the show of all shows, the fifth largest trade show in the entire country, that everybody would be better prepared for it. But no, I'm really shocked at the number of people that have either a kind of plan, a sort of plan, maybe a, you know, kind of haphazard thrown together plan. Folks, if you are going to spend the time, the money, the effort, the wherewithal to go all the way out to Las Vegas for the largest trade show for the industry in the world, don't you think it'd be better to have a plan? I got my media credentials right here in the mail the other day. See, there I am. That's me, Ace. So oh, I get it that way media credential and if you look right here on the bottom i spy a sharp marketer right there freedom munitions on everybody's pass i don't know if my just the media passes have those or if all passes have those but wow what a great opportunity what a great idea and boy i wonder how many other uh ammo manufacturers wish they would have gotten that spot in my envelope too because i attend industry day at the range is something sponsored by STI. Uh, STI and my friend Jens Crow is over there, and STI decided to sponsor lunch. So, an industry day at the range, the media lunch ticket sponsored by STI. Another great opportunity there, folks. Look at the opportunity. Everybody that goes to media day, if they don't know what STI is, is probably going to wonder what's STI, right? Finally, Real smart one. Everybody knows these guys know how to market, right? This is Yeti. Now, Yeti makes some good quality products. A while back, Yeti had a little issue with concealed carry in their flagship store, which, to their credit and benefit, they immediately corrected. Instead of making a foolish attempt to make an excuse or lameness or say, oh, it, you know, it's, we're a business and we can do whatever we want, Yeti realized who their market is. And they said, oops, our bad. We didn't research this well enough. They fixed it, right? Well, Yeti, if you don't know, makes some really, really great mugs and cups that keep stuff hot or cold for a very long time. Guess what they're sponsoring? You get a cup of coffee on Yeti. So there's three companies that clearly have a plan for SHOT Show, right? And they have a good uh, idea of who their target market is. So I know that when I go to SHOT Show, I start planning weeks, if not months, in advance. I know who my target people are that I want to see. I usually know what products I want to preview. Um, I almost always know who I'm going to be casually hooking up with there in a business sense and who I'm going to be planning to spend some actual sit-down business meeting time there um, I have a lot of meetings scheduled before I ever walk out the door of my house. And some of those people I see out there's Jared Markell. Jared, hi, Jared. <laughs> Jared Markell is one of the people that I make sure I meet with whenever I go to these shows, right? He and his dad, Paul, do some great things over at Student of the Gun. If you haven't had a chance to watch that, little plug for Jared Markell and, the, and his dad, uh, Paul, at Student of the Gun. Great, great utilizers of media great marketers, okay? So have a plan, right? When you are going to a trade show, know who you're going to see at that trade show. Set up as many meetings as possible well in advance so that your time can be accounted for. Then when you get there, you can go uh, to your first couple of meetings and realize that if it's a typical shot show, after day one, your entire schedule basically gets blown out of the water, right? what to do now. I actually plan my backup schedule and my backup schedule to my backup schedule whenever I'm going to a large show, not just SHOT Show, but if I'm going to NRA, if I'm going to uh, the 
Eastern Sports Outdoor Show, which is now the NRA Great American Outdoors Show, right? If I'm going to Dallas Safari Club, where we'll be in a week, uh, not even a week, a couple days, it's this week. Um, plan who you want to see, plan what you're, what you're going to do, set the goals that you're going to live and die by for that show. For example, if I was a manufacturer that wanted to court a new vendor or a new outlet or something, right? I certainly would make sure that I not only had a meeting with my target people at a trade show like this, but that I maybe set up and brought some premiums and things for them. Uh, some people that want to maybe go to, uh, uh, you might want to host them into a hospitality suite, maybe take them out to dinner, out to lunch. A lot of people have asked me how I got my start in the outdoor industry was actually going to SHOT Show and just meeting with a lot of people and taking them to dinner, taking them to lunch, bringing them lunch in their booth, which a lot of times doesn't happen, right? Um, there are so many ways that you can get tremendous benefit from attending a trade show. Now, there are people out there that say trade shows are dead. They say consumer shows are dead. These are the same people that say silly things like television is dead. Okay, television's not dead. It's changing, right? Television as we know it might not be the same as it was 10 years ago, but last I checked, I still turn on the television and there's thousands of programs on where thousands of people watch where I can get my message effectively across, right? The internet changes and changes quickly. Uh, as few as several years ago, you and I wouldn't be interacting this way. Now I'm interacting with you live on Facebook and now I'll be able to rebroadcast this all across the web. So we have SHOT Show coming up. If I were a company that wanted big things to happen at SHOT Show, I would, one, have a list of the target people I wanted to talk to. Two, I would schedule some open time for people to come by and meet with you. I can't tell you how many of my clients that I've worked with have come across stupendous deals from people they didn't really know existed that just happened to come by their booth, ask if they had a moment. They said, you know what, not now. But we will in a half hour, and all of a sudden, big things happen out of that collaboration, right? Always have some open time scheduled in your booth. Finally, have a plan for how you're going to uh, gather your ideal prospect's information. Have an idea for how you're going to follow up with your ideal prospects after the show. Um, have an idea as to what you want to accomplish at the show. If it doesn't get accomplished at the show, how you're going to have your backup plan to do that. And if your backup plan and your main plan aren't executed at the show, what you're going to do to circle back with those people throughout the following year. Because everybody knows that a lot of things happen. Not everybody gets to meet at SHOT Show, right? So have a plan to meet with folks, talk with folks, follow up with them. I can't tell you how much business is done after the show and the days after saying, hey, great talking with you last week. Let's hook up for a WebEx or something in the following week. And even sometimes those take two, three, four contact attempts before you get it. So the last lesson, and I'll leave this short because I don't like to take a lot of everyone's time on this, but when you go home from a trade show, you'll have a stack of cards this big right? I make it a point to enter all of those into my contact system, have a plan for following up with each of them, a goal that I jot down on each card for what I want to do with that person, and overall has led to a much better success for not just the SHOT Show, but every trade and uh, consumer show that I attend. So we'll sign off for now. If you are going to Dallas Safari Club this week, it starts tomorrow. Um, I will be there, I think, Thursday. And if you're going there, look me up. Let's talk. Um, if not, I hope to see you all at SHOT Show. Have a great night. And until the next time we log on, remember, always have a plan. Track your marketing.